There, throw it right in there, Sheldon, right by my fish. They'll be hot as they can be. Right there. There you go. There you go. Good job, man. When you need somebody to come, you know, last minute, you wanted somebody else to go with us on the 36, I was thinking, well, you know, let's see if Sheldon could be available. And, you know, Sheldon came in as the general manager of Hawks K there about a year ago, and uh, he's the guy when you ask him to go fishing, he's going to try to do everything he can to go. All right, Tom. He's oh, he, he oh, good job, it, Tom. It, nice it, bite. It. What a bite. That's a nice one, man. That's a nice little bull. That is a nice fish. Yes! Look at that guy! That is a shark. That's the biggest fish I've ever caught. Woo! I thought you said you had to... Okay, relax. Oh! Dude, he just ripped my boat off. Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Tom Rowland and Captain Rich Tudor. Great to have you out. We're oh, gonna, ex I'm excited today. We're going to have a great day. We have the most beautiful conditions. It's beautiful today. We're going to be able to run and gun on our new 36 here. What do you say, boys? It's a great day. Hey, Rich. How are you? Good. Good morning. Good morning. Ready to go and I'm ready. tear them up, man? Yeah, man. Come in there, Sheldon. Bit. We got everything we want. Calm we weather. A couple of fly rods for Sheldon, just in case, in case it goes real good. Absolutely, yeah. Well, we should be able to, you know, cover some ground quick. Have you fished in one of these before? No, I haven't. This is the first time, so I'm, this is going to be. Uh, well, this is the first day. time I've fished in this cool boat day. too. This is, is that uh, right? This is our new boat. I'm happy to have it. No, we're going to be able. I haven't fished in it yet, so this is going to be a treat for all of us. These are, okay. these are perfect conditions, man. We're going to be able to really cover some ground today, and you know, the dolphin out here spread out, you know. Um, everybody's catching them, but they're just kind of, you know, one here or there. Um, I think we'll just be able to kind of keep keep moving, watch for the sets of birds, and, you know, jump from set to set, maybe find some big ones, certainly a lot of schoolies, and um, it should be fun, man. It's great. It's yeah. always fun to be out here. So. <laughs> so at this time of the year, May, June, this is some kind of fishing that you grew up on, which is a big dolphin, a schoolie dolphin, just dolphin in general. Probably in the Florida Keys, that's something that I've done probably the least of. This time of the year, you know, my fishing was all tarpon all the time, you know, so I haven't gotten the chance to go out and do the dolphin fishing in the prime time like this. So it was cool to go, you know, in our brand new 36. And be able to take Sheldon and uh, go out in the new 36, run offshore and uh, get into those dolphin. That's something that, a dolphin fishing, that's something I grew up doing from a kid. I did more dolphin fishing with my parents as a kid than I did any other kind of fishing. I just have so many childhood memories of being out there with my family and seeing all those dolphins in the water and being able to catch them on anything possible. The first thing I ever caught on fly was a dolphin. I went out and bought a little Kmart fly rod and went out there and caught, a, caught, caught the dolphin. I'd get up on the bow of the boat and I'd be casting my fly rod while my parents were back there catching them on uh, conventional tackle. And you know, for this trip here to be able to go out with Sheldon, um, you know, Sheldon came in as the general manager of Hawks K there about a year ago. And uh, wow, he's a, he's a great asset. He's, a, you know, he's an avid fisherman, loves the fish. When you needed somebody to come, you know, last minute, you wanted somebody else to go with us on the 36, I was thinking, well, let's see if Sheldon can be available. And he's the guy, when you ask him to go fishing, he's going to try to do everything he can to go. So we got a couple of these big uh, 80s with um, with a 80-pound fluoro and a, okay. a 7 hook, and we'll, we'll use these for pitch baits. If we uh, see the birds, we can take these ballyhoo, just break their bills off like that. I usually kind of pinch their back a little to make them a little, a little more um, flexible, swim a little bit, and then just real simply just go right right up through the top, and there you go. And um, what we'll do is, as we're coming into these birds, we'll have two of these pitch bait rods up front, and uh, if we see them, we might see the dolphin just swim right on the surface, flip right in front of them, and, and he'll eat it. Um, and let him have it for about five seconds with the bail um, open, and then reel down, and you should have them. All right, let's go. Now, as soon as we got to that blue water, it was all about you know looking for either floating debris or birds. You know That's going to tip us off to where those fish are. And uh, we, did, we hadn't gone very far. I'll bet we were only about 15 miles out when we found um, that first piece of floating debris. Sheldon, let's just put out two of them patrol right, right by this thing. And, and keep your eye out, Tom. You might see them in the water, too. There's going to be some fish on that. It's looking good, guys. Yeah, that's going to have some fish on it. Let's just patrol by it, and we'll we go by it this way. Looking real good. Have a live bait ready in case we see him. Look at that thing, man. I don't know what that is. There's all kinds of rope and 
think I see some fish down there. Yeah, there's the fish. There's fish on it. Let's go ahead and keep keep tro trolling up here a little a little bit. All right, Sheldon. Might happen here. I think you got. Oh, oh yeah, you got, got fish on. Yeah, fish, got on. fish on. Nice job, Sheldon. Fish oh, on. Oh, no, no he's on there. They'll keep coming back for it. Wasn't hard to find. Um, all we had to do was beat the other boats out there to it. And it was this giant, you know, piece of floating uh, styrofoam with a cargo net around it, and had a bunch of stuff underneath of it. I don't know if it was something that used to moor on a dock or what it was, but it was a huge piece of floating debris that had been there a long time. And that's the key with floating debris. It's got to be out there long enough to attract um, bait fish and and, uh, and and get the barnacles growing on it, and get all the little bait fish, and then the big fish will be there. And that one had been there a long time. I knew as soon as we saw that and saw that growth, and as big as it was, that there was going to be dolphin on it. Ooh, right up behind the boat. Okay, let's get some get get our live bait rods. The light light ones will be good. Here they come, here they come. Look at the one right under the boat right there. Here. Look at him right under the boat. Right here, right here. Ooh, right here, right here. I like hearing that. Double header, yeah! There you go. Get a triple tom, come on. I'm working on it. I got a little They're tangle. all hot right around our fish. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience presented by Yellowfin is brought to you by Hawks K Resort Marina and Villas. All the fun of the Florida Keys in one island resort. Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Quantum Rods and Reels, fishing at a quantum level. By Mercury Marine. Lorance, makers of HDS, high definition systems. By Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Sperry Topsider, a passion for the sea. And by Loadmaster, Power Pole, Corrosion Block, Ocean LED, and Tough Line. See how old that is with the barnacles under it? That's definitely going to be holding fish. It's the only thing out here in this blue water. That piece of debris had so much life under it. It was that big piece of styrofoam, big square with a, with a cargo net around it. And then it had these big rope things underneath of it. I'm not sure what they were, but you know, they went down way, way deep in the water. And I could see, you know, when we made that first pass, I could see the, the, the growth under there. It was just old and there was you know, barnacles and algae. And, and you could just tell there was so much life. I could see the, the little amberjacks and the butterfish. And, and uh, you know, seeing that, all those little bait fish, I knew that there had to be dolphin around it. You know, we didn't see them on that first pass, but we made it, we just trolled around it once, and at, right as we were making that second turn, and those fish might have been way off of the, of the debris, as soon as we made that second turn, wham, there they came on the troll bait, pulled out their spinning rods, hooked one up on the spinning rod, and here come that whole school. Watch this on this live bait, watch this. There he is. Show them we got you got him right on the fly? Here. You got yeah. him on the fly? Good job. Good job. Show them get your fly rod out, man. He's perfect right for now. the first fly. Yeah. A whole bunch of them right here. Here, you step up there and you can have a little, little back cast action right there. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna so, clear all these other spinner rods out of the way. Look at them right there. <laughs> Put it in there, Sheldon. One more. There he is. Oh, oh he ate it, nice. He ate it. <laughs> nice job. Oh, one more. Put it right back in there. Perfect. Perfect cast. Sheldon, having him come out with us was was extra cool because you know he he came out with everything you know he had his own flies has his own fly rods he's ready to go you know as a general manager of, of hawks k where we spend a lot of time to see somebody come in and, and run this place with a fisherman's perspective that he understands the fishing he knows when the, the prime times are he knows you know what's going on so he's talking to the guests about you know tarpon fishing or bone fishing or now you know offshore fishing whatever it's just a lot of fun to take somebody out there who really truly appreciates it and of course the dolphin is a fish that it's not that hard to catch and sometimes they're hard to find but when you do find them man they are so beautiful and you have the opportunity to watch those things and I was, I'm throwing my fly in there and trying to get them excited you could see cool things like like the, a wave of color come over the fish or I was looking at one of them and his pectoral fin was out and it was blue on the very end right and then I see this he gets really excited he goes up to bite the fly and the blue shoots up his, his pectoral and it's it just happens like that yeah, that's a little big one you got to keep her there whoa watch this one run and another. <laughs> That's good stuff, man. Good stuff. Whoa, oh, he's going to jump in the boat. That's one way to get him in the boat. When he jumps like that, Sheldon just whip him right in like Kevin Van Dam. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't listen to a word he says. Rich will catch him. Nice. 
Nice. Well nice. done. That's a keeper. That's our dinner tonight. Yep. Get your pliers. What a beautiful. Man, look fish. at this guy. He's got blue lips. Must be cold in there. I'll let him go. Catch another one right now. You know, dolphin fishing is a lot like so many of the other types of fishing that, that I talk about. Action brings more action. You know, once you hook one, you keep them in the water, the other ones and more are going to come because they feel like, hey, man, those guys are getting something to eat, man. We better get in the game right. or we're going to, you know, we're going to miss out. And what, what I've heard from Scott Walker and other people that seem to know is that the fish that we were catching out there, those things are a month old. And in a year, they're going to weigh 20 pounds. And in two years, it's going to be a 50, 80 pounder. I mean, those fish are one of the fastest growing organisms that we have on this planet. I mean, it. They it, are eating machines. They are. They're going to eat everything and they're going to keep moving and, you know, they're going to grow as fast as they can. And, and it's a great fish to keep because of that. Because they grow so fast, it's a very sustainable resource. Little bull, I think. Yeah, you got a little bull there. Bring them right over to me when you get them ready and I'll land them for you. <laughs> that's a little bull. Yeah, that's probably the, the biggest one in the school. He's the. Uh... Yeah, that's a good one, Sheldon. You know what? I'm gonna actually net him, Sheldon. We want to have one for dinner. I'm, I'm net him right up. Right up to the surface when you get a chance. Nice. nice. Yeah. That's a good fish on a flower rod. Yeah, that's a good fish. <laughs> well done. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, that one will taste Thank you, very man. good. One of the best things about Dauphin well, the best thing about Dauphin is that they taste good. That's right. But one of the other best things about Dauphin is that they jump and they're not only a beautiful fish in the water but they're an incredibly acrobatic fish. I mean they're coming up in the wa out of the water and, and they look like they just, just hang there and they're doing all kinds of flips and flops and you would think that they would fall into the water sooner but they just seem to defy gravity and just stay there and just do these incredible things and on a fly rod you know you can handle that really easily. You, you've got a, a direct line to, to the fish and all you got to do is give them a little slack and they're, they're, that fly's going to stay right in there. They have a mouth that is uh, very conducive to hooking them. I mean usually the hook goes all the way through and you've got them hooked really well. <laughs> nice. Oh yes, look at that. It's awesome. Sheldon throw in right where mine jumps, that's when they go crazy. Not too big, but man, I love, I love this oh, blue yeah. water. It's just so clear. You <laughs> well, get to see them every there. little thing that they do. Come on, big boy. Very good. Awesome. Nice. Good job. Might keep that one for a little while, huh? Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, we can get that out. Look at that. Oh, right. look at that. He's right been out. eating that squid that I've been feeding. He chopped it up. That's nice. Good job. All right. Sheldon was on the bow. You were on the stern. Sheldon was throwing in there. Every time he'd throw in, wanted to be chasing his fly, he'd either be hooking it or missing it and throw right back in there. He was he was like a kid in a candy store, man. Just casting in there, getting one bite after the other. And that's when you can, you know, change flies and do things. And, you know, like I was telling Sheldon, you know, he was he was throwing a big fly. And at first the big flies were working pretty well. And then they got a little bit pickier and pickier and pickier. And I was like, you know what? You need to try a merkin. You know, and a merkin is a crab fly that's really popular for permit, and you can use small ones for bonefish. And a lot of people don't think about that with, with dolphin, that, that something like that might work. But here we are, we're throwing little pieces of squid in the water, and they're coming from 50 feet away and, and crashing that. And a merkin looks a lot more like a piece of squid than, you know, a, a fly this big. So I don't know if they're eating it like it's a crab or if they're eating it like it's a piece of bait, but 
One thing I know is that they ate it, and Sheldon was pretty cool, pretty happy about that. I think he tied that fly, which <laughs> which makes it even even uh, more special to him that he's out there and and you know catch a fish on a fly that you tied yourself. That's that's pretty cool. I think actually I think he's he's such an avid fisherman. I think he probably tied all those flies. And that got another one. On Good him. job! <laughs> wow, I'm switching to a crab fly. <laughs> no motion. No, mo just just one little. Yeah, those again. things work good, man. They do. I'm, just, I'm surprised. There he is, double header. Yeah. There you go. Oh, nice. Very good. The, the, get a triple, Tom. Come on. I'm working on it. I got a little. <laughs> They're tangle. all hot right around our fish. A little tangulation. <laughs> nice. Come on. Oh, wow. You got it. That him? thing touched the water and he just smashed it. <laughs> Wasn't quite ready for that. <laughs> Here Very you cool. Go. You're on your own. Just grab your yeah, leader, I got him. and then uh, there you go. Well, we got triples going. It's every man for himself on a landing thing. <laughs> Agreed. Nice. A lot of people like to listen to music on the boat while they're either cleaning up the boat or while they're fishing. I like to listen to it while I'm cleaning up the boat at the end of the day. My kids like to listen to it when we're actually fishing. So it's been a challenge in the past for me to figure out how I can play my iPod through my boat stereo. And what I've done in the past is have a, a cord that hooks up there. You hook it to the iPod and you put your iPod somewhere. It's bouncing around in the rough water. If you want to change the song, it's kind of a challenge. So this year, I found Sonic Hub. And Sonic Hub is compatible with the Simrad NSE. It's also compatible with the Lorance HDS. And all you have to do is install a small receptacle here that comes with different sleeves so you can play any iPod, an iPod Touch, a Nano, or even an iPhone right through the Sonic Hub. The menu is available on the screen of the Simrad NSE or the Lorance HDS. So I can clearly and easily see what I want to play, click a button, and you'll be rocking the boat. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience presented by Yellowfin is brought to you by Yellowfin, only at a Yellowfin. Fin Or, legendary tackle since 1933. The Florida Keys in Key West, come as you are. Yeti Coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Motor Guide, never stop. By Sirius Marine Weather, satellite weather direct to your boat. And by Under Armour, King Sailfish Mounts, Stabil, Scott Fly Rods, and Plano. Go ahead and let's keep going right up to the birds, Tom. Okay. The, fly, the flying fish are getting up under the birds. There's some small schoolies right in here. Watch this. Watch them come up on it right there. Oh, right there, right there, right there in the water. Right nice. there. Whoa. So after we had that first batch around that piece of debris, you know, caught a ton of fish there, had a lot of fun. We figured, uh, all right, let's move on. Maybe we'll find us some bigger fish or just, just move on to a fresh school of fish. And uh, started to run again. Instead of trolling, we just covered a lot of ground. We had the fast boat, started running offshore a little bit more. And sure enough, as soon as we got into that one set of birds, um, the dolphin were feeding underneath them. We could see them, threw right in there, hooked one up, and we had that whole school come in right around the boat. All right, that's a bigger fish. Oh, what a bite. Get him, Sheldon. Get him on the fly. Oh, get him on the fly. He's going to eat it. He's going to eat it. Strip him. Try it again. Right there. Let him eat it. Let it sit there. Let it sit there. He's going to hit it. You still see him? Yeah, he's right here. He's right here. Which one's the big one? Let me, let me tease him for you. He's right here. All right, Tom. He's... Oh, he, he oh good he job, it. Tom. Nice it. bite. It. What a bite. Ooh. That's a nice one, man. That's a nice little bull. That is a nice fish. <laughs> what a bite, man. I mean, you just put that fly down there. He just, <laughs> he just grabbed it. Yeah, man. It turned out to be an incredible day when we only had a few hours to go fishing. We ran offshore, gotten all those dolphins, caught as many as we wanted to catch on fly in beautiful conditions. Uh, you know, to having for Sheldon to be able to go out there with limited time, catch tons of fish, because I know all he wants to do if he has a day off, is catch fish on fly. To go out there and in a limited amount of time catch a bunch of fish on fly, get them in by lunch, that was an awesome day. There he goes. Oh, jump it again. Tom, that's a nice fish you got. That's a really good one. I love it. That's definitely the best fish we've had on yet today. Wow, Sheldon. Man, we're going to have to bring you more often. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to have to twist my arm. Woo. That's a decent size one. 
You know, it's always fun to take anybody that's passionate about the sport. That's one of the things I enjoyed about guiding so much is that I enjoy teaching people. You know, I enjoy, you know, watching people uh, accomplish a goal that they've that they've wanted and be just a little part of that. But, you know, for Sheldon, we were a little bitty part of that. He could already cast, he already tied up all his flies. All he had to do was put him in the right spot and then just watch him because he was smiling ear to ear from the moment we got out there till the moment we came back. It's just a lot of fun to take somebody out there who really truly appreciates it values a good day, values the good weather that we had, and, and you know, just soaks it all in. Nice fish, hey, man. Nice, nice fish. Nice little bull. See, I like it. It is. I love that. See, this size here, instead of gapping them, I like nutting them. They just lay right there. Sure. Kind of like your Kobe you're telling them. Absolutely. They do. I mean, otherwise, they just beat the wow. stew out of you. He is gorgeous. Accommodations provided by Hawks Cay Resort Marina and Villas. All the fun of the Florida Keys in one island resort. Closed captioning provided by Sperry Topsider, a passion for the sea. Look how blue he is, man. They get so lit up. <laughs> cool. That's awesome. There's fish on the fly ride, right, man. Let's put him up in the box All right. before he beats me up. All right. Forward. Box is open. All right. All right, Sheldon, you're going to catch one bigger than that. <laughs> awesome, Get bite. three. Get three, Sheldon. Come on. Hurry. I was oh, trying. Sorry. You all right, Rich? <laughs> oh. I got a big one. Sorry, Rich. <laughs> as long as it's not in past the barb, I'm okay. It gets a little exciting out here. Sorry, man. That's a triple. That's a triple.